Memory Unearthed is one of the most powerful exhibitions I have ever worked on. The photographs are drawn from the collection of Henrik Ross, who was a Polish photojournalist who lived in the rather large city of Ludz, which is centrally located in Poland. When the Germans occupied Ludz and Poland, they created a Jewish ghetto in Ludz, and Henrik was sent there. Because of his photography background, he was employed by the Nazis to make propaganda photographs and also ID photographs for the individuals who were confined to the Ludge ghetto. And during the time that he worked there between 1940 and very early 1945, he also hoarded film and would secretly take photographs of daily life of those who were confined to the ghetto. We are so thrilled to be able to partner with the Oregon Jewish Museum and Center for Holocaust Education. They have been a very important part of the Portland cultural and historical landscape for some time. And to be able to share this story with them and to work with them as a community, as two institutions who want this story to be told to many audiences, uh, is really gratifying and something new for us and hopefully something that we will sustain beyond this exhibition. Memory Unearthed at the Portland Art Museum, it's a more personal exhibition. These are Ross's photos of the way that the Jews in the Loge ghetto um, tried to create normalty. Uh, they had weddings, they had births, they had uh, Heinrich Ross himself was married in the ghetto. He met his wife in the ghetto and married her. There was an orphanage. There was a retirement home. They had Yiddish theater. They told jokes. They lived their lives as, as we try and live our lives. That's what people do even in the worst of circumstances. You're going to see all those photos over there. You'll also see um, uh, work. You know, there were a hundred factories in Lodge, so you're going to see um, photographs of many of the factories at work in those exhibits. This exhibit, The Last Journey of the Jews of Lodge, here at the Jewish Museum, it is documenting the last journey of the Jews of Lodge to Auschwitz. So both these exhibitions are unrelentingly brutal. And I, there's so much to absorb by coming to see both. We're actually encouraging visitors, if they have the time, not to see both on, on, on a single day, but to take time. So they really function as bookends to one another. Portland Art Museum and Oregon Jewish Museum and Center for Holocaust Education, we know one thing, that the people who are coming through our doors are, are really intelligent and they're coming through because they're interested in learning. And some of our visitors are actually reflecting on family separation, which of course is, is a, a big political issue now. There's a photograph of children on a cart, a wooden cart, being pulled by a, a, um, a horse. And you're seeing the backs of the children, except for one child who's facing the camera and has a little smile. It's a photograph from 1942. It is one of the first deportations to Chemno, which was the first site where the Nazis used gas. These children were going to their death. They were separated from their parents. The photograph is extraordinary in so many ways. You don't see a single adult in the photograph. Uh, Ross, Heinrich Ross, who took these photos at great risk to his life, somehow got that image. Right now, of anything in this museum, I think it is the most stark reminder of the perilousness of what those Jews in the ghetto faced. And to some extent, although I would say comparisons to the Holocaust are dangerous, it's not something we do, but I think our, our visitors cannot help but be reminded when they look at that photo um, that in our country today, we are, there are issues about the way um, we are tearing apart families outside of this country or trying to seek safe haven here. So it's just a very, it's very complicated um, and tragic. <laughs>